Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, 3D Builder uh, with Boolean operations. Um, I model most of my stuff in SketchUp doing the base work, and then when I need to use Boolean operations, I just switch right on over to Microsoft's 3D Builder. It's free, it's easy to use, and I, I think that most of you will find that. So, I have my model already open here that I have designed in SketchUp, and what I need to do is, in this particular model, I need to um, make a split right in half and I can do that because it's symmetrical because some of this goofiness here that transferred over from SketchUp I just felt it was going to be a lot easier for me to do it here in 3D Builder and I couldn't get this beveled edge right and it's quite frustrating so what I'm going to do first is again because it's symmetrical uh, the first operations I'm going to use is split and you can do this right in half it's easier if you just tap on the number and enter it in 90 degrees and I have the option to keep both sides or the top in this particular case I only want to keep the top because I'm going to be copying it I'm going to be mirroring it and then I'm going to be welding it back onto itself so I'm going to say that and then I'm going to use the hold down the control C to copy that and then I'm going to hold down control V and then I'm going to move this out of the way I'm going to go to object now press the mirror it's going to flip it then I'm going to move it back on until it locks in, snaps together with my other half. I'm going to deselect all, then I'm going to reselect all. Back to the Edit tab, I'm going to say Merge. Now it's welding the two pieces together, and when it's done, it'll be one solid object rather than two. This is particularly important for me because I will be 3D printing this object, and if I have a split in the middle, it'll be a nice hard line, and when I take it off the bill plate, it'll just break in half easy. So. The next thing I have to do with my model is I need to put holes through this plate on that beveled edge. Now, <clears throat> again, going into my modeling software, that's quite difficult, So, but it's quite easy here with uh, using 3D Builder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an object, or sorry, insert a cylinder, and in my particular case, I need that cylinder to be 3 millimeters in diameter, well not 30, 3 millimeters in diameter and I'm going to need it to be taller so what I'm doing is, is I'm unlocking the aspect ratio so I can just drag this longer and then I know for sure that it's long enough. I'll lock it back up then I'm going to move it into place. Now I know that that beveled edge is 30 degrees so I'll change the angle here again I enter it in here because it's real easy 30 degrees then I'm going to move it back into place Ooh, wrong one move it into a place where I think it will well, so that it's in the middle of that angle uh, sometimes you'll do this by eye, sometimes you can do it by the measurements down here I'm just for the, this case I'm just kinda eyeballing it but I could probably get it pretty close so that's yeah that's about center of my bevel and then it's right where I want it to be on the inside edge of my angle there and then I'm going to go back to the Edit tab. I'm going to say Subtract, but before I do, um, I'll just have that model highlighted, because if I have everything highlighted, then that doesn't work. I can merge and intersect, but I won't be able to subtract. So I just want that one to subtract from the other model. Just simply hit the button. It'll work in here, and then boom, I have myself a hole through my model. Now I'm going to probably repeat that process throughout the whole entire radius of that bevel and uh, or circumference pardon me of that bevel and then I'm ready to export my STL file nice and clean and that is it thanks for watching